the people. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Uh, my name is Chris McGill. I'm the founder of Mix. Uh, we were launched in October uh, of last year. You guys, I need, I need that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is who we are. Uh, this is our mission. Our mission is simply to connect users and publishers and relevant circles uh, in a very human level. Uh, we're 10 people. Well, everybody is a former AOL or Yahoo employee. I myself was the general manager of Yahoo News from January 2000 to 2004. Uh, Will was at, at AOL and a lot of By the way, great company to take over. Um, <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, we're associated with Pearl Osborne, who was the former chairman of the Associated Press. Of the project. Okay, so the great thing about the internet, this is something that everybody knows, right? The great thing about the internet is that now for all users, there's an exponential amount of information at their fingertips. The bad thing about the internet is for now, for all users, there's an exponential amount of information at their fingertips. And getting to what matters to you as an individual is hard. And sometimes what we're providing is a solution to that on a very human level, the peers who you know, the peers who you don't know, but who share your common interests and you only overlap in those areas where you share their common um, we, we fundamentally believe that there are three pillars. We want to call Web 2.0, Web 2.1, or Web 85. I don't care. Right? We basically believe there's three pillars to it. Ultra-personalization, democratization, and then social networking with people who don't know. But nobody has actually brought that together for social media. There are page flakes or net vibes where you put exactly the sources you want, which gives you a lot of duplicative content because they all pull from the AP. Um, there's Digger Reddit, which, is, which are fabulous for democratization, but it's one size fits all. And I'm going to guess in this room, we all have some commonalities in our interests, but I'm also going to guess that we're not all clones of each other. Um, and, and then there's social networking, where you want to interact with friends who know. Uh, today, most content has no place to be socialized. The odds of getting to the front page of the one-size-fits-all most popular page, pretty low considering all the content out there. However, for us, we have an infinite amount of front pages because we use tags as categories. And, and in our three months, we've had over 120,000 tags submitted to the system. And so Mix fixes this. The, the thing about us is really, um, we say we're inspired by four things. We're, we're a face and body of my Yahoo or page flex net vibes, the heart of Dig, uh, and LinkedIn links so that when you want to, you can hold hands with people you know. And we say we're also inspired by Marvin Gaye. Because in Marvin's heart, we're all sensitive people with so much to do. Whether you're an Uber geek who really wants to get geek, or you're a, a housewife in Des Moines, you run in social circles, you care, you, you care about content, Last time I checked, you have a wallet, you know, and you're just as important as everybody else. So there's no reason you should be crammed into a one-size-fits-all room. Oh, there's my Marvin Gaye picture, sorry. <laughs> Fancy bill. The value proposition is, honestly, for, for users, it's unearthed an amazing amount of content, which gets put, you know, which gets buried down below the fold for several reasons. One. It's probably not front page news to everybody. So for example, Alzheimer's runs in my family. I really don't want it. I don't know if anybody has ever, ever had somebody around them come down with Alzheimer's. So if there's an information about Alzheimer's, unless it cures Alzheimer's, it is not front page news. When I subscribe to the tag Alzheimer's, and other people who subscribe to that tag Alzheimer's, if there is some information about Alzheimer's, that's front page news to me. So it matters. Um, on top of that, I care about what people are telling me. I, I should be reading in the best of Maryland. I live in the best of Maryland, and it's relevant to me. For users, it's the ability for every piece of content to get socialized in relevant circles. Is everything a home run? No, but everything can be a single, or a double, or a triple, or even a home run. And it's free, and you get to learn what is of interest to, you, uh, to your users outside of your own so this is just an example, but actually, well, can you just hit uh, just go to, uh, it should be right here, just pull this up right here. This is my page, okay? I care about what's popular. When I, what, what people are telling me I should read. When I say read, I mean text, photos, videos, okay? Nationally. 
but I also have to care about the farmers. So I want to know if people tell me I should read about the farmers. I have to care about what people are saying about mix. So these are all the stories that I mix. Our users have gone off and formed their own site called The Mixing Bowl. We don't know these people. They're awesome. They have their own form. They do the one hour um, uh, podcast on mix every week. It's pretty fun to go to work. This is the stuff that's going on in DC. These are some tech stories. This is health. Uh, I'm a parent. I diaper a lot of kids. Uh, uh, I, I, my, wine is, my wife is a wine connoisseur. Um, this is a person who I'm following who actually works for a company I care about for carious mixing. Um, Alzheimer's. These are what people are saying today that I should read about Alzheimer's. Go over, we also have private groups and semi-private groups. So within my company, we don't email each other things, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. We put it into our own group, which you have to be invited by email to get to. Because the things that we're interested in are one, probably not interested to you, interesting to you. And two, some of the proprietary of what we find interesting. So if you go, this is Team X, and this is what the nine of us have put in here. We wrote good stuff up, we put bad stuff down. And we, we, the nine of us, we <laughs> Uh, I care about the Red Sox. The fact that, you know, David Ortiz is squeezing, uh, is riding a sidecar. You know, that's interesting to me, probably not interesting to you. Um, so this is my kids, uh, my four year old's preschool. So the parents of my four year old's preschool have their own group, which they recommend content to. Um, so that's good. We can track the problem. I know we're like on the lightning round. <laughs> So we've only been out for 20 days, uh, 20 weeks rather. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty proud, you know, I mean, we could definitely screw this thing up. We're not huge by any means. Um, but every week is a record week. Um, if you do a Google search on us, on blogs, we literally lit up the, the blogosphere. Ten articles on TechCrunch, Mashable, thank you very much. Um, this, our users have formed their own site. Um, and publishers, you know, if you click the next slide, these are the people who are starting to believe in us. And you'll see us on the page. You'll see us put in different positions than, let's say, Big or Reddit and everybody else. Like, you go to USA Today. Because they know that they're content. These are, you know, great news sites. This is the Moose is like a site with 11 million moms on it. They have recipes and crafts, like how to make a witch out of popsicle sticks at Halloween time. That cannot get socialized anymore. But it can get socialized under crafts and moms, and they have a place to turn to. Uh, way too many blogs to think very big names coming from. I don't even know if I said that. Okay. So this is, you know, this is data. It's not, you know, incredible number. But like every week we're going up, we've definitely struck a chord with people, um, and uh, it's been fun. Um, so that's what I got.